This weekend, I want to talk with you about pressing on instead of giving up. Pressing on with the power of God. No matter what difficulties we've faced in our life, no matter what disappointments, pressing on towards the greatest victory that we have ever known. Failure is one of life's great teachers. How we handle failure determines whether we will simply get by in life or press on. In the Bible, in Ecclesiastes 7, verse 8, it says this, It is better to finish something than to start it. It is better to be patient than to be proud. Well, my friend, occasional disappointments, detours, and failures are inevitable in life, even for the most accomplished among us. Setbacks are simply the price we pay for our willingness to take risks as we pursue our dreams. But we must never allow these hardships to cause us to lose our faith. American children rights advocate Marion Wright Edelman asked this question. Whoever said anybody has the right to give up? Well, that's a great question. That's a question we should ask ourselves, especially when times get tough. Do we have the right to give up? Because God has our back. Are you willing to keep fighting the good fight? Now, that doesn't mean that you might go in a completely different way. That may be your guidance in the situation. But when you meet with difficulties, if you meet it with God, you can keep on keeping on and press on. If you decide to press on through temporary setbacks, you will be pleasantly surprised, I guarantee you, at the creative ways that God finds to help determined people like you, people who possess the wisdom and the courage to persevere. My friend, two words, press on.